new buckling improvements have been implemented in FemDesign 18. It is now possible to define different lateral torsional buckling lengths for the top and for the bottom flanges of steel bars, but you can easily choose the same values for both flanges. Lateral torsional buckling check is carried out for both flanges independently from each other. For the lateral torsional buckling of steel bars, it is possible to set the element as continuously restrained. The buckling verification would be then ignored. For bars made of any material, it is now easier to define the beta value for different buckling lengths by selecting which types you want to modify. You can also copy the buckling lengths from one element to another. Another new feature is the automatic calculation of the flexural buckling lengths for frame members. The basics of the calculation method is according to the Eurocode background documentation, but the implemented method is more general and suitable for non-vertical and non-horizontal bars as well. The buckling length parameter, the so-called beta factor, is calculated differently for a sway or a non-sway member. Therefore, you have to specify which case to be used by the calculation in each main direction of the member.